And today I will try to solve uh, the merge intervals given a connection of intervals, merge or overlapping intervals. Uh, see the example input 1, 3, 2, uh, 6, and then 8, 10, 15, 18 output. Uh, the first two have overlap, so we merge them and get 1 and 6. Uh, okay, the example 2. Um, the end of the first interval is 4, and the start of the second interval is 4, so they they can be merged together. Okay, how to think about this problem? Um, as you can see, firstly, we need to sort these given intervals by their start time. Why? Only in this way, you can quickly determine if the previous interval had overlap with the coming intervals. Um, how do you think about this problem? If the previous interval's end time is later, then the start time of the coming interval, they have overlap. This is our uh, check condition. And uh, so we sort the intervals at first, and then we need a uh, array list at the result, uh, at our result list. So first, if the array list is empty, we just push, uh, we just add the, the current interval into the result. Um, and ever and uh, and the next uh, when we. Uh, meet the uh, interval, we should uh, compare the start time and the end time of the last uh, interval in the array list. If, uh, if uh, they have overlap, we, we change the end time of these two intervals largest end time and uh, so on and so forth. And in the end we get our uh, result. So basically if the time capacity should be uh, big O n log n, which n is the size of the given intervals, because we use the, the sort uh, function. So first, uh, we need a result, uh, sorry, interval. We need a result array list. OK, edge case check if uh, given intervals size equal to 0 oh, first. If given intervals equal to none, or given interval size equal to 0, just uh, simply return this race. And then we should uh, sort these uh, intervals. Use connections sort intervals. What's the, um, how to sort that? As I said before, uh, I need to sort by their start time. So it should be a dot star time uh, minus b star time, which is the ascending order. Okay, now we, we should do this uh, iteration in these intervals for interval i intervals. Okay, if the result size equal to zero or i dot star time is larger than the result get result dot size minus one dot n time which means they have no overlap right so we just uh, add this uh, interval into the result else which means either it which means it is not empty the result the result uh, really is not empty and uh, Current start time is less than, um, yes, it's less than the last interval in the result uh, results end time. They have overlap, so we should update the end time. Do not, uh, do not try to change the end time to current intervals in end time, because there may be the current intervals end time still less than the results last intervals and time so we, we should uh, compare them and uh, choose the maximum and time so just uh, 
change uh, result get result size minus one and the time equal to equal to what if uh, equal to the maximum of current intervals and the time and uh, result get uh, result dot size minus one and time and that that will should be okay and the return result now quickly check this is the interval yes educate check if the equal size or uh, equal to now the size equal to the return and, and the connection stopped yes for the vegan order larger than yes it's larger not equal because if it's equal they have overlap I will add and I get um, maximum and the, and the uh, get a size of the, 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 I think it's right it's mid yeah thank you for watching e it's uh, quite slow yes okay